Get the upper hand on your competition with scuff controllers. Use code OGXRAYS to get 5% off your entire order. Yo guys, what's up, it's x -Rays. Welcome back to another video. So today what I have for you guys is gonna be something a little bit different, guys. So I wanted to actually build a computer, a brand new computer, the one that I have currently, which is off over on this direction, is a computer that I got like six or seven years ago. I'd say closer to six years now. So we're pushing it, it's a little bit older, and it's definitely time to upgrade to something better. now. The one thing we're not going to be discussing too much here is going to be the graphics card that you guys are seeing here because the prices for that are absolutely insane at the moment. I'm trying to get a 1080 or a 1080 Ti and at the moment they're like over a thousand, probably closer to like $1,200 because of everyone who's mining Bitcoin. So it, it really sucks. Also, RAM recently has been jumping up in price and that's also, you know, something that will happen there. But I wanted to go with this with you guys through this kind of parts list and get your feedback because I kind of want to do a... You know everyone works on this type thing so you guys will give me feedback what you guys think i should or shouldn't get if you guys think that it's a good build uh, but this is so far what i have come up with so far and i'll discuss a little bit about each one why i'm picking it and just some of them frankly are just because they were you know very highly rated and so i decided to try to get them but there's definitely places where i can cut corners or areas where i should bump up and do something better but at the moment the build is looking like it's going to be around twenty one hundred dollars they also do have a monitor uh this one is just like a cheapy you know wide ultra wide screen that i'm thinking about getting just for like whenever i'm editing videos it'll be like super freaking long i'm thinking about it i don't know maybe you guys can let me know what you guys think it's definitely not for gaming because it's only 60 megahertz uh but that was that but anyways let's go ahead and start off with the cpu so i'm going to be going with the amd ryzen 7 1800x at 3.6 gigahertz now the reason i'm getting this is because of a couple of reasons the first one it's eight cores and it's 16 threads so it's super freaking good for editing like this thing is going to be amazing for render times for 4k videos 1080p videos 60 fps videos one of the reasons that i hardly ever upload 60 fps gameplay on my channel is because my computer the current one that i have would take like an hour or two hours to render out a video of that size and oftentimes when you're doing youtube you know it's important to not only have highly edited and and good quality videos but also to be one of the first people to cover like news and info and stuff like that so if i'm making a video it can be amazing and it can be the best edited video ever but if i'm it's taken me you know an hour or two hours to render out that video as opposed to someone else who posts that same quality video albeit 30 fps as opposed to 60 fps and they get it up in you know 30 40 minutes and they have a leg up on me so it's not just about the quality like standard actually quality of the video but also how timely you are with it and with this guy it has eight cores 16 threads it'll make render times a breeze like i'll probably be able to render 10 minute videos in five minutes or something like that hopefully around that place and it's only 349 dollars so really really good downsides to this for you guys that don't know is that it's not the best when it comes to performance for gaming the i7s and frankly some of the i5s are just better in terms of the gigahertz per core so you guys can see it's 3.6 and some of the high-end ones that uh you know would give you the same performance wise from the actual rendering and stuff like that is is way higher it's like over four so gameplays do better because at the moment most of them are optimized for like single core use and not you know a ton of cores which is eight uh, so it, it over time it'll be really really well and you know obviously it's going to be very future proof because it's 16 it's eight cores 16 threads so in the future when games are being optimized for that kind of setup it's going to do really really well so i'm really excited for that but at the moment it's amazing for editing and for rendering and stuff like that so i wanted to get it and it's only 350 which is amazing so that's what i'm going with the cpu i'm going to try to shorten this because i'm already talking for way too long it's been four minutes already and i want to get through some of these so the cooler we've got the noctua nhd 15 it's around 87 dollars i was debating between water cooling and just air cooling and i decided to go with this one simply because i'm like super paranoid about water cooling and there being leaks and stuff like that i know it's like very minimal the chances of actually having a leak but uh, on top of that i heard that air cooling is a little bit quieter because obviously it doesn't have that water pump and that's not going off it's probably minute i, I could probably switch over to thermal to water cooling but at the moment i'm thinking of doing a air cooler let me know what you guys think if any of you guys have a water cooling how loud or how quiet is it uh the main reason for me was i wanted something that was good at keeping my cpu cool but on top of that i also wanted something that was pretty quiet and i heard that the noctua nhd15 is very quiet so i can do streams and stuff 
uh, let me know. Maybe you guys have a water cooler that is better suited. As for the motherboard, we have the Asus Strix B350 F Gaming ATX AM4 motherboard. Now, you need to have specific motherboards for these AMD Ryzen. So, obviously, I need to have a motherboard that is compatible with it. And I saw this one. Being quite frank, I only really clicked this one out because it was the most highly rated one. Uh, like everyone was saying that it was good like I went and I put rating and this is the one that everyone was talking about and the actual reviews are pretty good as well and then obviously we have like specs and stuff like that that we can go through uh, and you know it's got DDR4 64 gigs it's, it has raid support it's got six SATA ports which kind of sucks you know some of the other boards like if I was using Intel I would have way more ports for that uh, but unfortunately I don't have that uh, and it also does have a USB 3.0 it's not 3.1 some of them are 3.1 but you know, I, again I only picked that one out because it was uh, the most like rated highest rated one and I wanted to get it and it gets it has everything that I need at the moment so we're good uh, as for the memory we've got crosshair vengeance 16 gigabytes uh two at eight gigs of ddr4 3000 memory 200 dollars. really freaking expensive like i i got this one because it was like the lowest of the three megahertz section of it so ddr4 3000 uh, and this amd uh, CPU from what I was understanding does really well with 3200 so I don't know if I'm gonna dabble into overclocking like I was also just thinking about that just now you know the CPU I could probably overclock it pretty easily but do I really have to uh, because it does void the warranty and then we also do have obviously the RAM or the memory I could overclock it but I mean is it worth it uh, in terms of what I could damage and it's $200 We'll see. As far as storage, we've got the Samsung 850 Evo Series 500 gigabyte 2.5 solid state drive. I really want an SSD. Uh, that's one of the uh, reasons I'm also upgrading. I could put one in here, but honestly, like I just want to do a completely new build, new. For now, I guess the only thing that I would be reusing from this computer would be my GTX 1050 Ti because of how expensive these things are at the moment. But obviously we got a solid state drive. I'm gonna be putting my OS on there, some editing program so it opens up everything super snappy, super fast. Uh, it's not the fastest of the SSDs uh, and it's $140, but it, it was what I wanted at a price range that I could you know be happy with. And then obviously for the extra storage, we got the Seagate Barracuda, two terabytes, 7,200 RPM internal hard drive at 60 bucks. Incredible how cheap these things are now, which is amazing. For video card, I was looking at the EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 eight gigabyte. I'm thinking about TI at the moment. Again, like I said, I'm probably going to reuse my 1050 TI from over here for now because of just how expensive the prices are on these guys. But I'm going to use that until the prices and you know, the Bitcoin is starting to drop down in value. Maybe people will stop mining and the prices will get back to normal <laughs> levels, but uh, I'm just going to have to reuse that one for now. Or if I can get this one when they're in back and stuck at the actual founder's price, maybe I'll get it. But there we go. Super clock. Uh, as for the case, we're going with the Fantex and Thu Pro M tempered glass i really wanted a tempered glass case and i want to get it it's a mid tower uh, i got really highly rated and it's only 90 dollars, which was awesome i think it was actually a hundred dollars earlier so it's actually cheaper now uh, as for the power supply this one i can change up if i want to uh, it's a hundred dollars but i might switch over to a cheaper one like that's like you know 90 or, or 80 it depends i don't really care about money uh, to say i do but at the same time i don't you know but uh, i'm always that kind of guy that's like oh 20 bucks more and i'll get it better fully modular which means uh, it has no cables on it you can only plug in the ones that you need which is awesome for cable management i do have an optical drive even though you know no one really uses those anymore but i like having it for just in case we obviously have windows 10 and then we have that monitor that i told you guys in the beginning but anyways that is the setup that i have at the moment guys let me know what you guys think uh at the moment it looks like it's going to come out to around 2000 it's going to be cheaper than that obviously because i'm not buying the video card just yet the uh, the gpu uh, and i'm seriously considering you know how long that'll take for now i'm probably going to use that gtx 1050 ti for a while and again, I want to emphasize, I'm not really the super genius computer guy. Like I know I did a ton of research, which is why I, it seemed like I was knowledgeable with some of this stuff, but I did it. I did hours. I'd say I did like 20 plus hours over the past, you know, week or whatever, uh, just so I could be as informed as possible. And I've never built a computer before. So this will be the first time I build a computer uh, by myself, which is, which is awesome. I'm really, really excited for that. And at the moment, because it, it, it does look like it's going to be over two grand, I'm planning on slowly buying parts. I tweeted about this. Uh, follow me on Twitter in case you guys don't because I talk over that all the time. But I'm planning on buying a couple of things at a time. So I'm going to be spending around $200 per paycheck uh, to, to get parts. So, you know, I'd be starting with like the case and then get the motherboard. You know, anytime it's around $200, i will buy two things together, get it shipped over to my house so that, you know, as opposed to, you know, waiting and then trying to save up and then 
dump two thousand dollars right into it uh, it might hurt more than you know taking three or you know four months or whatever to piece this all together and i think it'll be fun too to you know be waiting on this next product to put it in uh, i'm really excited i'm really excited so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below guys but uh this is what i'm looking at at the moment uh we've got the best cpu i could get from amd ryzen we've got not the best uh gpu i'm still thinking about that one again i'm waiting for prices to drop down uh, but I think it's going to be a super beast computer, and I'm really, really happy, and I'm really excited for it. And then, obviously, down the line, I can add more RAM, and I can get a better GPU, and I can do a ton of stuff, like get a, an actually good monitor. Uh, but that is uh, what I'm looking at at the moment. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I wanted to make this one because, you know, you guys are part of my channel, and I wanted your advice and your ideas. Maybe some of you guys have experience with some of these parts, or, you know, uh, probably a bunch of you guys are way more knowledgeable than I am with PCs. Uh, but this is what I'm looking at, and I'm really excited to kind of piece this together over the following weeks and make this computer amazing for video editing, for streaming, and a whole bunch more. So let me know your thoughts, your comments down below. I know this is a longer video. Maybe some of you guys don't care because it's computer stuff, but if you're like me uh, and you enjoy looking at computer parts, then this video is for you. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm excited to piece this together. Wanted some feedback from you guys. Comment down below your thoughts, your opinions on this parts list, what you guys would change, or if you guys think it's all right, let me know. And if you have any advice for me just on building computers, leave it down below. I also need to buy like the, the, the Phillips wrenches and you know special like magnetized little bowls or whatever for parts. And I need to buy like the little electric or demagnetizing or whatever the hell that strap is so I don't ruin my CPU and my motherboard and stuff. So uh, there's a ton of stuff I need to also get slowly over time, but I wanted to make a video to get you guys this feedback before I even start ordering parts and stuff like that so give me your thoughts give me your opinions down below thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did drop a like drop a favorite on the video and also if you guys want to comment down below if you guys would want me to do a video of building this thing together or maybe even doing a live stream of building it uh, so let me know i might end up just kind of piecing it together and doing like a vlog where like oh this week we got this let's put it into the computer so i'm really excited let me know what you guys would want to see or if you would even want to see that but thank you guys so much for watching like the video if you guys enjoyed it. If you are new, make sure you guys do subscribe for even more content here on the channel. And also, if you guys want to become a sponsor, it's a really awesome way for you guys to get awesome perks like early content, exclusive content. You get a special badge. Check that out if you guys are willing and able to do it. Uh, huge shout out to my sponsors here towards the end. And uh, if you guys want to, check out also my gaming and second channel and my Twitter to talk over there. Links to those down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.